Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be discussing the women's exclusive Nike Dunk Low Premium in the vintage navy colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today we'll be going over a woman's exclusive nike dunk low premium this time around in the vintage navy colorway i have also already gotten the nike dunk low in the vintage red so i'm going to pull that out so that we can kind of compare the two colorways but we'll start off with the overview jump into size and fit followed by how i style this a really beautiful color scheme and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market let's jump right into it congrats to those of you who were able to cop a pair of these on the shock drop which happened on the sneakers app for those of you who weren't able to catch or snag a pair of these on that shock drop these will be releasing on August 24th, which is a Thursday on the Sneakers app. Good luck to those of you who are going after a pair of these. So the first time that I actually saw this woman's exclusive Nike Dunk Low premium silhouette was in this beautiful vintage green colorway. I could not get a hold of that color scheme and I know a ton of my friends who are women definitely wanted it as well. None of them were able to get it. So I am very fortunate and happy that I at least was able to seal the deal with the vintage red and the vintage navy, which I think are also great color options and variations. May have to go back and snag that vintage green still uh, but today we'll be going through this beautiful navy colorway which is a very trendy color right now as far as fashion trends go uh, and of course metallic is also very trendy so to be able to have the navy color and also the metallic tone is a steal so as far as metallic shade goes this definitely gives a very chic look to the sneaker itself so you've got that vintage navy on the toe box smooth white leather on the top of the toe here and then we've got just nice vintage looking laces there in that sail tone and then on the top of the uh nike logo here we've got it in that navy tone and then just a simple white mesh nylon tongue let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling All right, so wrapping around to the side panels, we've got smooth white leather underlays and then more of that just kind of crackled effect on this metallic vintage navy tone, which is on the swoosh mark and works its way to the back. Then we've got Nike embroidered on that heel. One of the parts that, again, sets this apart from just a regular Nike Dunk is that, again, it is a premium edition. So you are getting higher quality materials, including this inner lining that you see here on the collar, which is in this really nice corduroy material in that navy tone. The interior for the insole is just a simple navy and white. And then the other side of the lateral portion of the sneaker itself is in that same color combination as the medial side with underlays of that white smooth leather and overlays again of that with that navy in that vintage color scheme with the crackled effect, which also again hits the light perfectly to give that metallic effect. The sneaker is then completed with what I love is this off-white kind of aged sail tone, which matches the laces perfectly on the midsole. And then the outsole is 
is a solid, just navy color rig. All right, let's take a look at all those last and final details. size and fit goes again this is in women's sizing so uh as far as my woman's size goes i am a true woman size nine i would say stick true to size in this one all right now let's jump into styling again i did get the vintage red option as well which i think is a nice just color variation to this navy so if you're a red fan definitely easy to really color coordinate this but i do think that the navy is also a little bit easier than the red to be honest with you uh so for the first look i decided to go with a denim overall jumpsuit so definitely denim on denim really trendy right now and of course that is something that really is fitting for a navy tone there's gonna be some danger 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 For the next look, I decided to wear a matching blazer and mini skirt that had a nice plaid pattern on it and a nice beige tone to really complement the vintage feel of the sneaker. last and final look decided to wear a mini just nice shiny uh satin type of dress i think that wearing metallic colors will very much so go with the vibe of this and again this is definitely more of a sheen upscale looking sneaker so definitely don't be afraid to dress these up there's gonna be some danger 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 the retail goes for these these retail at $120 they're currently go going between $140 to $170 all right everyone that is it for this unboxing and review my name is Marissa Hill this is Shay TV we will catch you all on the next one Ooh.